So since it's launched just a couple months ago, TikTok Shop has absolutely blown up in popularity. TikTok, 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 TikTok has launched a new feature that allows users to shop directly from its app. And people have been making hundreds of thousands of dollars on it. In fact, TikTok themselves make between four and seven million dollars per day with the items sold on TikTok. So this is obviously a big up and coming thing. Just as TikTok was disrupting social media a couple years ago, now they're disrupting a lot of shopping. And this is not going to be just another Instagram shop. This is already proving to be very, very successful. So in this video, I wanna show you how to set this up. It's very simple to do, but I also wanna kind of backtrack before we even get into that and explain what TikTok shop actually is. So the quick little one minute summary is essentially when somebody is on TikTok, they're swiping through, they're watching videos, and they find one that talks about a product, that user can actually link to the product and sell it directly within the video. So as a user, I'll see this little box on the bottom. I can tap on that, it says shop now. It'll bring up a quick little window where I can see a little bit more about the product, and I can simply tap buy now. And this is way more streamlined than affiliate links or other ways to link to products that then bring you into a browser and, and people fall off during that. Having everything within the TikTok app makes it incredibly easy for a user to just see the product, impulse buy, and boom, the purchase is done. Like, it's, it's as quick as that. So this is obviously very, very big. It's something that Instagram tried to do. Honestly, they kind of failed, but TikTok is already having some massive success. So how do you get started with this? Well, if you already have an online store, it does. that's fine. We can link it. And if you don't have an online store, I'll show you how to set one up in just a minute. But regardless, you are going to start off by going to, uh, we'll have a link in the top of the description, by the way, but you could go to Santrell Media, SantrellMedia.com slash TikTok shop. That way it just brings us all to the same page. It'll look something like this. So it's going to be on TikTok, TikTok's uh, seller account. And now we can make our account. So I'm going to start off with an email. We can say continue. And then it's going to ask us for this little verification, prove that we are indeed a human. Uh, I can say verification complete. And now I'll go check my email and we should be getting a code sent to our email. And then I can say continue. Now I can have, I can input my password. We'll just use this one right here. We'll say continue. Okay, so now it's going to ask a couple questions about our business. So if you're setting up just under your own name, you don't have a business registered yet, individual is going to be your option. If you're running your, your business as a sole proprietor, which is basically an individual, but it's set up as a business, uh, that's going to be your option there. Then we have corporation or partnership. I'm running this as an LLC, so I'm going to select corporation. If you are currently just an individual and you want to set up an LLC, I'll link a video down below that Nate made that shows you how to make an LLC for a uh, a pretty low cost. It's pretty easy to do. Um, but anyway, choose an individual if you have to. I'm going to go with corporation and I'm going to say next. And now, uh, regardless if you chose individual or corporation, this page is going to be similar. It'll either ask for your personal name and your social security, or because it's a business, it'll be your business name and your EIN, your employer identification number, basically your tax information, uh, just to prove that you're a real entity. And it's worth noting that you can only set up one account per identification number. So one social security number equals one TikTok shop, one EIN for a business equals uh, one, you know, TikTok shop again. So you can't have multiple under the same social security number, for example. So I'm going to go with my business and then my EIN. Then we can select if we have any beneficial owners, the registered address of our business. I'm going to certify it and I'm going to say, no, I do not have a parent company. And then I'm going to click on next. Now it's going to ask some questions about the primary business person, which is me. So I'm going to enter my information. And now step three, our shop information. So we can create a shop name. Uh, they recommend not using like flagship or official. I agree. I don't think that really sounds great. I'll just use like what your business name actually is or your personal name or, or whatever the brand is intended to be called. So I'm just going to call this one Santrell Sample Shop. Again, only use letters. Don't use any special characters in here. It'll remind you of that as well. And the primary product we're selling, this is going to be tough to find exactly the right product, but I mean, you can browse through and find something that's, that's close enough or you could search for it. So, so if I'm selling clothing, uh, let's see if I type in clothing, failed to load. Okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to scroll down and find it. I think maybe, um, let's see what we have here. Fashion and accessories, fashion accessories, yeah, whatever. That's close enough. It doesn't really matter that much what you choose uh, for your primary product there. Then we have our phone number. So then review and confirm your information. I'm going to click on submit. And that'll bring us to basically your dashboard here. And there's really five main steps to setting up 
your TikTok shop. The first one is registering your business. The good news is we already did that. Uh, it says it could take up to 48 hours to do that. Honestly, from my experience, it's usually less than one hour. And the good news is while that's happening, we're going to do the next four steps. And then hopefully by the end, uh, that's done and we can start tagging products on, in, on, on TikTok, not on Instagram. So let's go down to add tax information. I'm going to click on get started. This is basically, if you're in the US, it's going to be essentially a W-9 um, where they just ask for basically like the same information they already asked. So I'm going to fill this out really quickly. Then we can submit it then and click submit again. So... All right, so now we have our tax information ready to go. So two out of the five steps done. Now we can set up shipping, uh, add our first product and connect to a TikTok account. So these two right here, shipping and first product, I'm actually going to do by making another store. So if we just click on add your first product, you'll see we have four options on how to do that. You can upload manually and make a product and only sell on TikTok and that's fine, but I don't recommend doing that. We could sync an online store. That is what we're going to do. And the advantage here over uploading manually is that we are able to have one central hub, one store run through Shopify that, that we can then sell on TikTok, on Instagram, just on our own website, on Facebook, anywhere else you might want to sell it. You can have one central store and it really keeps your options open further on down the road. Also, there's a lot of great tools on the back end for managing inventory, a lot of great plugins if you want to do some email, email marketing, SMS marketing for anybody who purchases from you really opens up a lot of doors if you have an online store so that's why i recommend doing that we could bulk upload if you have a ton of products and you just want to put them all up there uh, i think most people are probably not doing that and we could add through the seller center sen seller center app i always want to say seller central seller center app uh, but we're going to go with this one right here so sync your online store so if we click on continue or we said go there's a lot of options you can have a ton of different online stores that connect uh, like i said we are going to be doing shopify as you see right here but before we click on that we are going to go to a new tab and i'm going to use the other link in the description which is centralmedia.com shopify Shopify. This is an affiliate link, so it costs you nothing, but it helps support the channel. So that'll bring you right here. This is also giving you a discount as well. Um, so if you use that link, you should be saving some money as well. So I'm going to enter an email address and set up a Shopify store. So I'm going to do it under the same email address. And this might seem like a big tangent, but I promise we can set up the whole store in, in about 10 to 15 minutes. Super easy to do. Uh, Shopify really basically does everything for you. You'll just choose the images, the name and the prices and the rest. Like I like I'll show you in a minute, is super easy. It's basically automated. So I'm going to actually just skip all of this. You really don't need any of that stuff. We're going to then click on next for the location. We're going to, well, you could sign up in a lot of ways like Google, Facebook, Apple. I'm going to sign up with email and I'm going to use a password and I can create the Shopify account. So now we have our Shopify account being created. Uh, it takes maybe 30 seconds for this little thing to happen. Uh, so right now we have a trial. I'm going to select a plan in just a second, but let's first talk about adding our product. I'm gonna click on add product. You can see this little checklist right in the middle, but for your own future reference, if you wanted to add other products on the left side, this is your whole menu. Everything you're gonna do is based on this. So we can click on products. And then from here, we can add a product. I'm going to click on add a product. And there's a lot of different styles of products you could have. I'm just going to do a basic single physical product right now. We're going to call this uh, handmade organic soap. Handmade organic soap. I'm going to have a little description down here. All right. And then the description, I'm just going to paste something. I had chat GBT write that, to be honest. But then going down here, we can add some media. I'm going to click on upload. And I just have a bunch of photos. I'm just going to copy. I'm just going to upload all of these photos, um, hit enter. And now this, they all show up right here. You can rearrange them, by the way, also. So if I really, first of all, if I didn't like this one, I could select it and delete the file. So delete, maybe I don't want that one. And if I wanted the, this one to be before that one or this one before that one, I can click on the little six dot array and just drag these around. So the main photo is going to be the big one. And then the other photos are kind of in order, like one, two, three, four, five. Um, so you can kind of see how they'll show up on your store. And we can, we can preview that in a minute. Going down, we can select the price for this. So I'm just going to say these, these soaps are maybe like... Uh, maybe $12. You can have a little compare at price. That's an option that it'll cross out the price. It kind of implies a sale or it could say like, uh, this is the price that other people might sell it for. So maybe this is something that you've seen other places for $15. You're selling it for 12. That could potentially help improve conversions. Then the cost per item. This is for your own tracking on the back end to track your profit and your margin. So maybe this costs $2.78 to make one of them. 
There's your profit margin right there. Obviously, that's not including any other costs like uh, marketing and uh, overhead and stuff like that. But just for general profit margins, it's kind of nice to track that. We can also track the inventory. Again, that's one of the big advantages of using Shopify is you're getting a lot of tools on the back end for analytics, for inventory tracking and stuff like that. So let's just say if I have maybe I've got 380 of these, we can track that. You could continue selling when you're out of stock. I'm not going to do that. You don't really want to do that on TikTok shop. Um, and we could have a SKU or barcode. This could be helpful if you're tracking a lot of different products. So right here, I'm just going to say this one's 10,000, 10,001 is our stock keeping unit, our SKU. And how much does a physical product weigh? Let's just say uh, one pound. I don't know, just for now. Now we can also add some variants. These could be like size, color. I'm going to say cent. I'm going to say cent. And then below that, we can add the values. And when you type one, the next one will appear. So maybe we've got pine, we've got lavender. Maybe we have um, citrus. And maybe we have, I don't know, chocolate, one other smell. Then down here, these will automatically uh, show up and we don't have any uh, quantities for them. So I'm going to say all of them, maybe 50, maybe we have 50 here, maybe we have 50 here and on hand, let's say this is also 380. And as we scroll across, this is going to be, again, more of the back end stuff. Automatically, it made new SKUs for them based on the starting one. It just added one for all of them. You could customize that if you wanted to. Uh, and if we scroll down further, that is going to be how this appears on Google. I'm not too worried about that at the moment, but going up, if we wanted to add this to any collections on the right side, collection is going to be like a category, a grouping of, of products, uh, we could have that on over here on the right side um, by adding collections right there. So right now, we don't have collections. We could make collections um, in the future once we have more products. I'm going to save this. And the intent of this video is not to show you everything about a Shopify store. I just want to get the basics down so we can sync this up with our TikTok shop. So next up, what we want to do is go down to settings. We want to name our store. We want to set up the shipping information. We want to set up the tax information. And we want to set up, set up payments all on the back end. So this is ready to go and it can sync over with TikTok very easily. So let's start off by renaming our store. So we clicked on settings on the top profile. Let's click on the pencil icon and we're going to call this Santrell, Santrell sample, sam, sam, sample store. You can call this whatever you want, obviously name yours accordingly. Then we can go down to shipping and delivery, click on that and we can create a new shipping profile. So click on create new profile and this can be primary primary shipping info we can add products and we're just going to select all of these we'll say done now the shipping origins are right there shipping zones we can create a zone and say anywhere in the united states and this can be united united states united states maybe i'm only shipping to united states and you can actually select if you have to drop down as well uh, where you're shipping so maybe i don't ship to the american samoa that's a little bit further away maybe i don't ship to micronesia or guam or some of the other territories like that marshall islands maybe i don't ship to uh, let's see what else we have on here uh, there puerto rico virgin islands um there we go. So I'm going to say done. Now we've got 52. Sure, that looks good. And we can add a rate for this. This could be flat shipping. We could just say no matter what, the soaps are always like $2.99 uh, to ship. And it's going to be economy, five-day business days. We're going to say done. That's just an easier way to, to do the shipping. You can also have it calculated um, and you can sync up with you know USPS or UPS or something like that uh, and get your labels more easily. But for something like this, a little soap, I think it's easier to just have flat shipping and I can manage that on the back end. Now I'm going to save this. So now we have four products ready to go for a custom shipping rate. You also have general shipping as well above. That's going to be all your other products. Uh, and these, of course, right here are going to be uh, like calculated DHL for worldwide shipping, USPS for domestic, and it is all calculated. But like I said, I'm just going to do flat shipping for this one. So shipping is now set up. Our shop name is set up. Taxes and duties, look into your local laws and regulations uh, for determining what your taxes are going to be. Uh, this is obviously super important. Don't break the rules on this one. Uh, then we are going to go to locations, make sure we have a shop location right now, United States. That's good, that's what we want. And we wanna set up 
payments as well. So then Shopify payments is going to be the easiest one for this. I'm going to say complete account setup. We're going to submit details, business type, again, LLC. And then down here, this is going to be very, very important. The customer billing statement. You want to make sure this is not left like that. You want this to be the name of your business. So when people see this on their credit card statement, they don't dispute it. They, you want them to know what the charge is so that when they look at their statement, they say, oh yeah, well, I did buy that soap. That's what that $15 is not. What is SPB5? Like, was I hacked? Is this like, I have to dispute this. This is fraudulent. And that's going to be a headache. You're going to have to deal with that. So changing this now is going to save you a world of headaches in the future. So I'm just going to say Santrell soap and submit for verification. Then we can set up two-factor authentication. And to do that, you just have to sign into your TikTok account one more time, download an authenticator app. There's Google Authenticator, Microsoft, a ton of other ones out there. Um, obviously, they recommend some other ones too. So I'm just going to go and set that up. And then we can say continue. So now we're just about ready to go. All right. And then two more things we have to do before we sync this over to Shopify. One of them is to go to plan. We can select a plan uh, because in order to sell on Shopify, you need to have a plan. So let's go and choose plan. There's three plans out. Yeah, three plans available. Um, they're all right now $1 per month for the first month. And then you can see uh, anywhere from $29 per month, pretty reasonable, $79 per month and $300 per month. Before you get a little blown away by that, that's really meant for larger businesses. I'll put a link down below um, to a little tool that I made that kind of compares uh, the prices for all of these. And what I mean by that is what your volume of sales actually looks like could really make this one uh, actually cheaper for you. So if you're selling like $200,000 of revenue per month, then this little 0.5% difference in the credit card rate is going to be worth it to pay $299 per month. But for beginners, selecting basic is the no-brainer. I would recommend always going with that one. Now we can put in our credit card information. Also, it's worth noting that you save $120 when you bill annually. So I'm going to toggle that on. Then we can click on subscribe. And we can save our business address again. All right, so now our Shopify is ready to be connected to TikTok. As a side note, if you wanted to make this a full running store on its own, uh, it's ready to go. Like you already have all the tools you need. There's only two things I would recommend doing for that. One would be going down to settings, going to domains, and then just buying a new domain. They're like maybe 10 to $15 per year. That way you'll have a proper store name set up. And two, if you go to online store, we can click on that and you can customize this with a full theme. I have another video. You guys can check that out uh, and really master that. Design your entire store to look like any one of these. Um, and that, that's a really powerful thing that I would recommend doing so you can start ranking on Google and getting more traffic. In addition, having the link to this store in your bio and in many other places shared online can be very powerful. So I would recommend doing that. I have a tutorial on how to design this store. I'm not going to go into that right now. But if we go back to the other tab, TikTok shop seller center. This right here, first of all, registered business. I think I put the wrong address in. I'll fix that in a minute. But down here, add your first product. Let's click on get started right back to where we were. We're going to sync our online store. It's going to open a new tab. We're going to click on Shopify, which should be on the top left. Click on Shopify. We'll say learn more. That'll bring us over to Shopify apps. We should already be signed in as we are on the top right. You can see right there. And now we're going to click on install. So this is going to install the TikTok app on Shopify, which gives us two main things. One, the ability to sell on TikTok and two, the ability to run ads on TikTok that are integrated well with our online store. So when somebody clicks on an ad, if you ever decide to run ads, when somebody clicks on an ad and then they go and uh, they add something to the cart, but then they don't purchase, you'll know and, and that'll all be tracked and you can optimize the ads accordingly. So let's click on install. Remember for this, all we're really trying to do is connect our TikTok shop. So we have our products and we have our shipping information all set up in TikTok right there. So TikTok and Shopify. It's loading, and like I said, here's the two options I said. We can set them both up, but I'm gonna start selling on TikTok. We're gonna say set up now. Now we can select connect. That'll make us log into our TikTok, of course, so we can go and sign into our login with email. I'm gonna click on login. Again, we're gonna enter this little, we're gonna do this little puzzle here. We're gonna say confirm. Now we can say login. And that should be connecting our TikTok shop. So it tells us right now on, on hold orders. Uh, so right now the app installed does not support on hold orders. The app that you are connecting to does support on hold orders. Uh, I don't really need to worry about any on hold orders. Um, let's click on 
let's say confirm, we can say connect. And now it's connecting with Shopify. So remember that checklist, uh, we have business, we've got shipping, uh, we have uh, first product added, and then we can connect our TikTok account. And once you have that, you'll be able to tag the products very easily. So if I just go to connect a TikTok account, I'm going to link an official account. So on TikTok, I'm gonna go to my profile, I'm gonna tap on the three dots there, I'm going to tap on my QR code, and then I'm gonna tap on the little scan button on the top right, we'll say okay. And we can scan this barcode here. Then we can authorize this and we'll say link this account. And we can just say got it. So once again, this is now pending. If we go back to home, we've got a couple things pending. Okay, so then when we're on TikTok, I'm just gonna make a quick little TikTok. This is the good soap. You gotta buy my soap, it's it's good soap. Um, and we're gonna tag that. You can you can see right in the bottom. So now I'm gonna click on the little check mark. So then when we're on TikTok, I'm just gonna make a quick little TikTok. Then when you're editing your TikTok, you'll see right near the middle uh, where it says add link, you can tap on products and more, and you can add a product from that. So if we tap on add product, we'll be able to find ours and we'll be able to tag it in this video. And that way when somebody's watching this TikTok, if it shows up organically, or if we decide to promote it, which by the way, I have a full video on how to run TikTok ads, I'll link that below as well. Uh, then people can, it's shoppable. People can easily click on that and then they can buy the product through TikTok very easily that we just listed online. So it's honestly really impressive that you're able to do all of this. Of course, make sure you're following all the rules, all the regulations, uh, don't cop anyone, don't steal any products, be ethical guys. I think you know how to do this. Um, so if you enjoy the video, consider liking and subscribing. Like I said, I have a full video on how to set up a Shopify store uh, as well as how to run TikTok ads. Those are both the videos that I recommend watching next now that we have this set up. So subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see you over there.